Mama Cockroach, I love you. Because you cosy with the aunties in your reeking slums and are intimate and sweet. Because you begrudge no one a meal but ooze a fecal trail to lead your commune to its source like a dirty bee. Because you are joyfully promiscuous. Because you pouch your young and hide them in the sweaty creases of the house near superating food so they'll hatch to a feast. Or keep your eggs with you in a special purse shaped like a kidney bean and clutch it fast. Or reinsert them into your abdomen and wound them there. Or carry them as yolks and give live birth. Then feed your pale brood secretions from your anus or your armpit glands like milk. Or deep in the flesh of a rotten log, pass them a bolus of pre-digested food mouth to mouth. Because you suffer your young to swarm upon your back, and do not flinch or buck them off, but carry them, like a human playing horsey with her children, down on hands and knees, decrying the swag of her own loose flesh. Because you twirl your antennae gracefully to test your crawl space. Because, strokingly, you caress your offspring's backs and gentle them with pretty pheromones and chirps. Because you purr when your young stroke your face. Because you would leave your body for your offspring to dine upon all the liquors and gravy of the obscene world, your work in the crannies delivered to the living, because you are, despite all rumours, mortal. And what if you are crushed before your eggs can be delivered? What if your sisters drive you hissing out? What if your kitchen is fumigated? What if the mongoose, the lizard, the snake, a muscular tongue prying at the warm and greasy interstices of your stubborn occupancy takes you in its mouth? Someone must care for the dirt.